Hey everyone, <laughs> pardon me, it's 222. <laughs> Jeez, let me start again. Hold on. Mercury retrograde, it just doesn't get any better than this. Lots of crazy things have been happening in my life. I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm really looking forward <laughs> to the end of July. My name is Tamara, and I am live here each Tuesday at 222 for a two-card draw, a message we obtain from Spirit using tarot cards or oracle cards to obtain advice for all of you guys on how to manage your emotions more effectively for each week ahead. I love to focus on where the placement is of the moon and Mercury retrograde. So we are currently in our second Mer Mercury retrograde season. See, I can't even talk. And my name is Tamron. I'm a spiritual guide and founder of Tamron's Place, a retreat for spiritual growth. So I want you guys to stay tuned till the end of this video and I will have a call to action for you guys if you would like some additional guidance and support this week so that you can really close the month off with a little bit more grace. Again, I only do readings for 12 people each month. So once the sun sign, say for example, the Leo, the person has obtained the message for a Leo, then I move on to someone else in a different sign. So if you're lucky, enough to be one of those 12 people each week you jump in and um, you will see the link below where you can obtain your private intuitive 30 minute message reading with me so again i'm feeling a little bit frazzled i'm just going to ground my energy and just to recap what is happening this month for the month of july we've been in mercury retrograde now so we are on the last eight or nine days and so a lot of people um, normally in a, in a Mercury retrograde cycle, they feel like we've taken one step forward and 10 steps back, right? However, this month, because we not only have Mercury in retrograde, we have four other planets that are also in retrograde along with last week, and two weeks before, so during the entire month of July, we have had an eclipse season. So what does this mean for you? And what does it mean for me as well? It means massive change for everybody. Redoing, rethinking, reevaluating, digging deeper, asking those soul searching questions about what do you honestly want it really is about your own truth not about what anybody else is trying to tell you to do or giving you this great advice or whatever it really has been a soul seeking journey this month and so in this final week it is down to the crunch it's down to the wire and a lot of us intuitively know what it is that we need to do. But however, it's going to take a lot of courage to actually take action on it. And this is why a lot of people are feeling super stuck this week because they know it could potentially change their life forever. And sometimes when you know you have to make these massive, massive changes or have these really important conversations with people or to go somewhere to really trust deeply it can be just a little overwhelming for some people so if this is something that you've never really had to do in your past again it's very daunting so this week is very important for everyone and this is why I want to make sure that you guys understand the power of going on a retreat self-reflection taking that time out for you so that you understand that you a are not alone and this is one of the reasons why I love doing these readings for everyone this week okay so again it's the final week of Mer mercury retrograde in this eclipse season so like I mentioned before normal mercury retrograde it feels like one step forward and 10 steps back however for this month you know what it really feels like for a lot of us one step forward and it has felt like a hundred steps back like 
just like out of control, you know? And so for a lot of people, they're feeling lost and scared and they, you know, this need to control the situation. However, that's not really the answer. Okay. So again, each week I'm offering a two card draw from, for you guys, and I'm still using Colette Baron Reed's deck. So this week I'm using her wisdom, pardon me, wisdom of the Oracle deck. Okay. I love this deck. I use it a lot in personal readings for people because it has multifaceted messages in it. It can be very specific to relationships or general messages. However, if a card is upside down as well, it comes out as a protection message. Okay. And as well, I love to share with you guys each week what it is, what is the magic that I'm drinking in my cup. And again, the reason why is because when I offer someone a reading, I love to talk about the remedy, right? So my remedies are gifts from the earth. They are buck flower remedies I recommend, uh, high grade CPTG grade essential oils, using herbs, making teas, and simple detoxifying recipes that are gluten and dairy free. Why do I do that? Because again, more people are understanding the connection between the stomach and the brain. So when we detoxify the body, the mind, the spirit, we work on all levels of our body, we gain that clarity and the intuition comes through, all right? It's not about feeling the need to control. It's about learning to trust yourself. And this is a powerful time right now on the planet where because we are being forced to make all these decisions, you got to really learn to trust yourself, all right? So this is why people come to watch these videos. However, in my retreats and my events, I'm going to teach you my favorite tricks. And some of the easiest and most simple things to do is really clean up your body, you know, get rid of the crap and get back to nature and enjoy some of the amazing tasting things that you can do. So this is a cold tea that I've made. Again, I have used uh, fresh organic squeezed lemons. You can see the pulp in here. And I've added just a dash of Himalayan salts, a dash of apple cider vinegar, high grade lemon essential oil as well, and some fresh local spring water. Chill it, keep it in my fridge, I keep it in the big jugs, and, you know, it's very uplifting. And also remember that lemon really helps um, release anger in the liver. So again, when you're feeling stuck, you got to work on that liver, all right? So summer is a great time to enjoy detoxifying foods in your diet. Things are growing locally, things are fresh, and they taste fabulous. So it helps you on all levels of the body. So when you work on the physical, it helps the emotional and the mental and vice versa. All right. But again, the remedies that help you on an emotional level are my favorite topic to talk about. And that's what you get. Also, there is an additional recommendation. Depending on where you're purchasing your products, I can make recommendation on quality and so on and so forth. But let's jump into the reading again. You guys can check in with me later if you would like to obtain a reading with me. Just click on the link below. So here we go. So this week is that final week. And so before we go direct, right, um, some of you might just be feeling stuck. So what is spirit trying to tell us? Again, I had to just literally shuffle the cards, grab them so they didn't fly away. So I had them tucked in here. So if you're a number person, the first card that came up is number 30. And again, it came up in the upside down position. And the message says, tick tock. All right, tick tock. So what this card actually represents is this is all about divine timing. So when a card comes up in upside down, it's that card to, that you always think of something, your protection message, think of the word remember. So what this card is reminding you is that there are just some things in life you cannot control. These are things, people that have been in your life, soulmate relationships, uh, issues that have come up, whether it's personal or business, and you couldn't have changed it if you tried. You had a soul contract to be with these people so that you could grow as a human being, right? 
think of the um, the quote by Brian Covey, you know, we are all spiritual beings here on the human journey. So we are going to be in situations to help ourselves. It's not about the other person. When you stay focused on someone else, you've given your power away. So this card is, is reminding you everything happened for a reason. You're not in the wrong place. However, you have an opportunity this week to let go. Okay, take some time for reflection and truly ask yourself, what is it in you that you really want to be released? What is it that like you are just done with and you don't want to deal with this anymore because it's an emotional story, right? It's the emotional story. And the call to action, your action card is number 10. It's coming up as unfinished symphony. So again, this is not in protection. It's actually in the positive message saying, you know what, look at that call to action, do what it is that you know you got to do. And look, the music is going to start playing. So there's that little piece within you that you have an ability to change within yourself. And then things in the outer world change. And this is just a reminder is that too many people are saying, well, if this person just called me, or if this kind of happened, or if it happened this way, I wouldn't be in this situation. Let go of that story. And I'm going to encourage you to go within yourself and take the time. TikTok, take the time. This is divine timing for you to release what it is that no longer serves you and to clear the air. And that is when you will notice that the outer circumstances in your life will change because you are always thinking. So again, my name is Tamron. I am a spiritual guide, founder of Tamron's Place, a retreat for spiritual growth. Here in Northern Ontario, I've been offering uh, private private retreats for guests. Now that we have the beautiful weather here, it's getting a little bit windy. And you have an opportunity to spend an afternoon with me for a half day retreat or a full day, which is about six to seven hours. Lunch will be included. Or we now have the retreat option that you can stay up to three days. So two nights and three actual days. And again, I will give you some of that information if you're on a private call with me or if you'd like to have some more information, just send me a private message. The link will be below here. And again, I will help you uh, supporting you and we will do uh, a deeper intimate reading for you. And also we will be eating and, um, and enjoying some delicious gluten and dairy-free snacks. So again, there's not all this pressure on your stomach, uh, focusing on your digestion where you have an opportunity to just gain that higher wisdom, that clarity while you are here on a retreat with me. And the website will be launched in September. So still some more work to do. I'll be gathering testimonials this summer. And again, I'm here um, and just like hoping to make my videos up in Northern Ontario, connecting with more small groups so that I can be of greater service to you guys in the fall and be able to travel and offer my retreats around the world throughout this winter. So I look forward to seeing you guys again here next Tuesday at 222 for another tea and tarot reading with me, Tamron. Cheers for now. Bye-bye. Okay, we need to turn the video off. Bye-bye. I couldn't find the button. Mercury retrograde. Jeez, it's been crazy. Absolutely crazy. See you guys again soon.